You're watching Seatome TV. Knowledge is power. Wendy wants to know, uh, how do you know? Great question. How do you know if you're at risk for getting cancer? Well, if you smoke, if you drink a lot, um, if you uh, work in a dry cleaner, a hairdressing salon, perfume salesperson, um, if you work in a mill, <laughs> pretty golf well, course. pretty golf course is a big one. Um, if you work around carcinogens, um, and it's important if you have a job, you want to know what those carcinogens are, and you want to take as many good measures to protect yourself against those carcinogens. Mm -hmm. You want to look deep. Um, you know, you really want to work on that. And then also, if you have a family history, mm -hmm. now family history can also be behavior. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, we've seen cases where. Um, you know, two of the children and and uh, the grandmother all got cancer, and the children got uh, cancer at a young age. And uh, you think, okay, there's got to be a genetic, uh, you know, a, a genetic factor here. And then you look at the genetic factors, and you say, well, there's nothing that we can recognize. And then you find out that the person or that the family is from you know northern Saskatchewan, and dad was a chain smoker. So the whole family was locked in the house with all the windows and doors closed for a good part of the year, you know, breathing in dad's cigarette smoke. Mm. And then you realize that it's not necessarily a genetic factor, it's a lifestyle factor. Mm. So the like sec secondhand lifestyle exactly. factor. Okay. Exactly. So there's so okay, so as with your previous answer, there's a couple of places that you have to look and consider. Your li your lifestyle, your career or yes. the other toxins you've been exposed to inadvertently. Yes. And then your own genetics. Correct. And that's where the inherited mutations testing comes Correct. in. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. Thank you for watching Seatome TV. Subscribe below and stay informed.